Hello drone community, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School and welcome to another week's edition of our Drone Weekly News Roundup. We like to keep these videos short and sweet uh, and typically cover three or so stories. This week, we will first talk about the 11 companies that were just added to a new list of drones approved for government use here in the US. Then we'll talk about how drones are being used to conduct research on glaciers in Southern Europe. And finally, we're going to cover the Mall to Home drone delivery program launched by Wing in Australia. All right, let's jump in. The Department of Defense has released a second list of drones approved for government use, and this program is being called Blue UAS 2.0. There are 11 companies on the list. I'm going to share them in alphabetical order. Ascent Aerosystems, Blue Halo, Easy Aerial, Flight Wave Aerospace Systems Corporation, Free Fly Systems East, Harris Aerial, Inspired Flight Technologies, SenseFly, Skydio, Vision Aerial, and Wingtra AG. The first list of government approved systems featured only five drones. Uh, the Teal Golden Eagle, Vantage's Vesper, Teledyne slash Fleers, Ion M440, Skydio's X2D, and Parrot's Anafi USA. These drones were referred to as Blue UAS. So we're talking about Blue UAS 2.0. And two of the motivating factors behind creating a second longer list of approved vendors for drone technology were to reduce costs and also to add capabilities. So on the capabilities front, this new list includes mapping, inspection, the ability to carry secondary payloads. Uh, and on the cost front, these new drones provide a wider range of cost options. Next up, climate change researchers have been using drones to study melting glaciers in the Pyrenees Mountains, which interestingly enough are the largest glaciers in Southern Europe. Using images and LIDAR data, they have concluded that the glaciers are melting at a pretty rapid rate. Uh, one of the techniques the researchers used to study these changes was to compare drone data in 2021 to 2020, and then other data back in 2011, allowing them to track those changes. Unfortunately, there's no sign of slowdown in shrinkage, which indicates the Pyrenees will likely be a nice free mountain range in the coming decades. Okay, lastly, Google has launched a new drone delivery service in Queensland, Australia, that allows people to make orders directly from a nearby mall. Deliveries take about 10 to 15 minutes on average, the quickest one so far coming in at 2 minutes and 47 seconds. The new delivery program uses space on the roof of the mall to fulfill orders, cutting out the need for a distribution center. Since the program's launch just six weeks ago, it's already made 2,500 deliveries of goods like sushi, coffee, and ice cream. I think it's only a matter of time until we start seeing this in the US, but actually curious what you think about this program. If you think it's something that you can see yourself using uh, or have opinions the other way, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Um, that's all we've got this week, folks. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Thank you so much for watching and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.